But the four actual options were Jared McCann, Patrick Hornfist, Brandon Tanev, and Carl Hagelin. All former Penguins, all still playing in the National Hockey League, still viable options as National Hockey League players. Not to say that Mario Mew couldn't go out there and spit out 30 goals randomly, but... Which of these former Penguins do you think were what would help out the current team the most? Right off the jump, I'm going to have to have to cross out Carl Hagelin. Sorry. Uh, just he, I don't think he has the same stuff that he used to. Well, he I mean, also had an eye injury all of last season. Okay. Okay. So, that like, may be part of it, but I don't know if just being on a different team kind of deteriorated him. I forget where he went. What was it? Washington at one point? He's in uh, Washington still. He's in Washington now? Okay. Yeah. He just doesn't seem like the same player, so I'm going to cross him off first. Well, and here's the other thing before you keep going. Sorry to interrupt. You're good. He's, he's basically the same player as Brandon Tanev, but I feel like Tanev does a little bit more. He's, he's more of an energy guy. He's more yeah. of a four-check guy. He's a penalty killer. That's what both of these guys do, but I think Tanev is that that energy energizer bunny guy. So that's why I cross Haglin out, even though if you've listened to this show for the past, this is heading into its fourth season. Oh boy. You know that Carl Haglin was one of my favorites and I have a Penguins Carl Haglin jersey, but uh, I will cross him off as well, but continue. Uh, yeah. Um, regardless though, I think, I think I would have to bring back uh, Jared McCann because I would assume then that, well, this is, I mean, how many times did we see on Twitter last year? Man, Jared McCann can really help this team right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to make this my answer, but it just kind of has to be because I, they're all correct. Every time you see that tweet, it's right how much he could help this team right now because having him on this team presumes that uh, Jeff Carter is not on this team, and that is already a bonus because it is a younger player. I don't know salaries off the top of my head, but mm-hmm. it's a younger player who might – have a brighter future, who has a bit of a scoring touch, and that's what we lost. He helps out the bottom six scoring because that's what that's what we needed. That's mm-hmm. That was kind of my closing point to the last uh, little segment we just did is that our bottom six scoring just dried up completely, and that is that was part of the downfall at the end of the season and what made the postseason a hard pill to swallow, the fact mm-hmm. that that bottom six couldn't do anything. So now throwing in – a Jared McCann over a Jeff Carter you gain some speed you gain some youth and maybe a little more scoring you can't take McCann's cracking numbers into 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 case here yeah because I mean what was he on the top line there he's on the top power play definitely I, I don't know if he was the top line or the second line for the Kraken yeah he had different ice time over there so you can you don't take the numbers in but you take just the ability you just kind of have to take the eye test in and know his eye test looks better than current day Jeff Carter. Mm-hmm. And the one number you would have to take into account is that salary cap number, because that's yes. how we're, we're doing this exercise. He just signed a five-year, $5 million contract per season. So five years is $25 million. So when I look at that, and I wouldn't take Jeff Carter out of the lineup necessarily. Oh, okay. What I would do, if it was Jared McCann, because I, I think that is my answer as well as Jared McCann, because you need scoring if you're the Pittsburgh Penguins. You need somebody that can bump into that top six, and especially if one of the centers go down between Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin, which you never hope to happen, but sometimes does, especially if you look at last season. But when I look at Jared McCann, what I would do, if I was able to do NHL GM mode and do forced trades on NHL 23, Jared McCann comes back to the Penguins. The Penguins send out, and it's not because I don't like this player. It's not because I'm trying to get this player out, but it's the one that seems the most reasonable. The Penguins send out, Jason Zucker mm-hmm. and a first round pick. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. For, for Jared McCann, yeah. which at the end of the day, if Ron Hextall did that, he would look like a complete and utter idiot because he gave out Jared McCann for free and then ended up trading a first round pick to get him back. But if you get McCann instead of Zucker, if that's the exchange and then whatever else is used to make it work, you can put McCann as your third line center. You can put Carter as your third line left wing mm-hmm. and you can put Danton Heinen as your second line left wing. And all of a sudden I think that's a better lineup with the opportunity that if somebody goes down, you know, Jared McCann can fill that role. It's the center position. 